Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. <clears throat> Today we have something, uh, something awesome. I got introduced to, to this website. Basically it's called Casey's RC, like you can see on the image in front of the, the screen. If you go uh, check out Casey's RC, uh, I'm not sure if it's .com, .ca, .ca if I'm correctly. Guy makes a lot of stuff. Uh, there's multiple stands for your vehicle when you want to work on it. <clears throat> this one here is for a fifth scale. Uh, everything's made in-house. Even the rubbers that you put on top of the plate here when you put your vehicle is made in-house. The screws, things like that, don't think they're made in-house. That's probably the only thing he doesn't do but the rest is all made in-house here in the good old Canadian Canadian made uh, is based off in Montreal Canada Quebec uh, an awesome guy one of my buddies bought this for his uh, fifth scale It's all CNC, Casey's RC. I will put a link in the description to his website. Go take a look. And if you do end up buying something, let him know where you got your idea. Uh, basically, in his comments, things like that, tell him you got it from DJ's PRC. Um, I do recommend this product. It's not the first one I built. The fifth scale one, yes, this is going to be my first one. I did build the smaller ones for one ten scale. But enough talking. Let's let's take a look at these guy. This guy right here comes with instruction sheets. Every bag has every screws that you need for this guy. These are the pucks that you put on top here when you lay your vehicle on it. That way they don't doesn't slip. Uh, these are basically the uh, I'm not sure what you call these, uh, but they go in your four corners to rest your vehicle on it. You can even to the point that maybe even screw your vehicle to it, depending on the the vehicle, or depending on where your frame is, it will sit in between to prevent it from moving. But let's start opening the bottom base. And again, like I said, every screw are included. Very nice fitment, seriously, it's... Love it. <clears throat> Let's flip one upside down. Now, maybe for some of you wondering, it says, yeah, but those, screw, those screws underneath will scratch my table. He has four corners to raise it and anti-slip. Just make sure when you are going to do this to align it. There is pockets for these guys. Bring to a lower settings. Uh, 
I'm gonna put these guys that way. I'm not gonna scratch my super nice table here. And like I was saying, everything is made in house. These rubberized pucks or anti-slip, I don't know how you call them, made in house. Everything's pre-drill. Pre There's no guessing. Now I do have another piece coming for this stand. It basically, it's a, a swivel. Once your stand's on your table, this guy here right now, you have to physically Turn the complete table. This is not bad to turn it, but the other ones, there's a swivel that you don't need to move this. You'll be able just to turn the vehicle. Now let's open, put this guy aside. Open the other bag. And grab our top. Top will come right here. Again, everything's keyed. These guys are even countersunk. one aside go back here now I'm gonna grab the two longest one with the butterfly nuts bring this here and try to find that hole. There we go. And I'm gonna put it on the side here. Basically, this will be your pivot. Okay. You do grab the other one. You lock it in. That keeps it on your angle that you wanted. The way it's made right now, once you put the butterfly on the other side, it will stay on that angle of your vehicle if you need to work on it. Even then, these bolts here don't even need these butterflies. You need, you don't need to tighten them galore. It's just to, you just, Fairly tighten and it will prevent it from moving. I extremely like that. Now let's open our pucks. Now the pucks, the way they're designed is they do have a bolt. Insert. Insert your first spacer and your second spacer. And let's say you want them here in the corner. You physically decide where they go. And it's just a nut on the other side. Tiny her up. Grab your other one. 
Got our two spacers. Forgot there's a washer. My bad. Put that guy in. Put our washer in. Line her up. I'm trying to put them equal, equal but I just, just realized I didn't. I'll do this one here and put the other one the same. Because now these could vary from vehicle. Depending on the vehicle you grab. Because this, ki this kit, like I said, is made for uh, an X-Max. Any fifth scale, fifth scale vehicle. Like the DBXL. I could put on. The X-Max I could put on. Uh, a 110 kit. Not really. But again, if you're... Stuck, you can. Now well, this nut doesn't want to go in. There we go. Uh, you could use an X Max, DBXL, uh, I would say hmm, e Revo maybe this kit might work, but if you don't have a fifth scale or an X Max, he does make uh, smaller ones that does the job even better. So right now you could sit your vehicle and won't won't fall off. Now you can put these guys here too. Basically, let's say these guys I would more in the middle. Your vehicle would be sitting. This you could put on the outside your vehicle to box it in. If you do hit your vehicle, these pins will prevent it from falling off the of your stand. Now I'm not going to put these on here right now. Simple reason, uh, I'm not sure on what vehicle I'm going to use the stand on. Maybe the X-Max or the uh, DBXL. Uh, not sure. Even I see potential about these stands here, especially this one here. Uh, you could make yourself a cradle here if you want to work on your boat. It's a nice height. That could work too. I think I'm going to talk to Casey. That could be an, an adventure here. But if you guys have any questions or comment about this uh, car stand from Casey's RC, let me know in the comments and I'll gladly answer you guys. And don't forget to check out this website. It will link it in the, in the bottom here, Casey's RC. And if you do decide to grab yourself one, it does, it does ship anywhere in Canada and the US. All for my US watchers here, you can get this kit go on his website, go in the uh, right corner and basically hit US. You'll have the US pricing. You're not going to regret it. You're going to enjoy this kit. Even building it was fun. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and go check out Casey's website. I will link it below. Thank you for watching.